Dr. Scott Kilberg, the Video Foot Doc, here with another video for you on all things foot and ankle. Today I'm going to talk about a very devastating injury that can happen in the foot, which is a rupture of the Achilles tendon. Now many people have heard about this rupture, it often occurs to fairly high profile athletes. Um, however, it can happen to almost anybody for a wide variety of different reasons, not necessarily just sort of an injury during uh, playing sports. The Achilles tendon is a very strong, thick tendon that attaches to the back of the heel bone. Um, and it basically is the combined tendon of a couple different muscles uh, that are in the back of the calf. Now, the main functional purpose of the Achilles tendon is to flex the foot downward. But what it really does is it helps to resist the force of the ground pushing the foot upward when you're actually stepping onto the ground itself. Without the Achilles tendon, the foot would come completely upward and bend up at the ankle unresisted, and one can't, simply can't walk in that, in that way. Now, Achilles tendon ruptures can occur for a wide variety of different reasons. Uh, the most common type of scenario is when there is a significant force being applied to the foot to bend it upward at the ankle while the calf muscles are actively trying to contract or push the, uh, the foot downward. In this way, the fibers of the Achilles tendon tear. Um, now, uh, an Achilles tendon tear does not have to necessarily include all of the fibers themselves. Um, sometimes you can just simply have a partial tear where just some of the substance of the Achilles tendon uh, tears. Uh, but in other cases, the entirety of the Achilles tendon tears straight across and that causes a gap or a rupturing in which it's no longer attached to the heel bone and doesn't function. Now there are other reasons why one can develop a tear. Um, in a lot of cases, some people simply develop tear because of weakness and degeneration of the Achilles tendon. When you have long-standing Achilles tendonitis that may be compounded by the presence of heel spurs uh, or other irritating uh, things on the Achilles tendon itself, um, the tendon fibers can become uh, worn out, they can become degenerative, and often a rupture can occur uh, in an area that's a little bit above where the Achilles tendon attaches on the heel bone, in an area where there's poor blood flow already and the tendon is weaker there to begin with. And so simply by walking or standing with a, a tendon that's sort of degenerative, you can actually rupture it with, uh, with a very uh, simple uh, injury pattern. It doesn't take much to do that once it's already degenerated. Now this doesn't occur in most cases of Achilles tendonitis, but it is a possibility. Uh, other things that can cause ruptures in include uh, the use of steroid injections uh, in and around the Achilles tendon, as well as certain medications, including a class of antibiotics called fluoroquinolones, which can cause uh, potential tendon rupturing. Now, treatment for Achilles tendon ruptures or, or tears uh, is uh, very important because you need to reestablish the actual connection of the Achilles tendon uh, to either the ruptured end or to the bone itself if it is pulled off of, of the heel bone. Uh, now, often this will involve surgery, and what surgery does is uh, surgery accomplishes this by going in and uh, directly repairing the torn fibers together with some stitches, and uh, sometimes other things are also necessary, including uh, certain types of graft materials that may be needed to strengthen the tendon and allow it to heal uh, stronger uh, and less likely, likely to tear again or become degenerative. Now, this is best accomplished when the tear is fresh, However, there are certain circumstances in which it's not recognized early enough uh, or surgery can't proceed because of other health issues. And what will happen is, is that that tendon will actually start to retract further back in the calf. Uh, scar tissue can also form and it makes repair much more difficult because you cannot simply pull that retracted tendon back down um, into uh, the, the heel area to be able to sew it back onto the stump that, that it was ruptured off of. Uh, so in those cases, other techniques need to be employed, such as lengthening of the uh, general tendon itself or lengthening of some of the uh, fibers that attach the tendon to the muscle belly above it uh, to allow for the tendon to be able to have enough length to repair it uh, back to itself. Um, if that's not possible, other graft tissue may be necessary to um, sort of repair and sort of create sort of an almost, not quite an artificial tendon, but sort of recreate the length of the tendon using other material that then heals together with the tendon itself. Um, this can include material from the Achilles tendon on its own or, or tendons uh, found elsewhere uh, in that vicinity uh, or even artificial material uh, and uh, even grafts uh, from uh, cadaver uh, tendon as well. 
Um, now, once the Achilles tendon is uh, repaired, it takes a while for it to heal. It takes at least four weeks for that tendon to, uh, to heal back onto itself, often longer. And during that period, most people are immobilized in order to protect the repair site. Um, now, the consequences of not repairing an Achilles tendon and sort of leaving it in, in its torn position can be pretty significant. Um, as I said before, one really has a great difficulty with being able to walk without having the Achilles tendon intact. And the heel becomes much more prominent uh, during the walking uh, or during the walking cycle or the pattern that one has when they walk. Um, and in cases of very weak or torn Achilles tendons, uh, the bottom of the heel becomes much more uh, much more uh, predominant on the ground. There's an increased pressure, and in some people with certain risk factors, such as diabetics or those with poor circulation or who are older and have poor uh, fat pad on the bottom of their heel, um, there's a significant chance that wounds can form on the underside of the heel uh, in the skin, which can be pretty devastating if they get infected and can uh, get into the bone as well. So it is very important that the Achilles tendon is repaired if it is ruptured, um, not only uh, just to be able to restore function to the foot, but also to protect uh, the heel from further damage that can occur um, uh, because of the lack of the tendon uh, function itself. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please look for more videos on all things foot and ankle on this site, as well as others, or you may check out my website at www.inpodiatrygroup.com. Thank you.